So I remember walking in the front door and seeing my mom standing in the doorway of the kitchen and she just started crying. I mean, as soon as she saw me, she started crying. And I just knew, I mean, this feeling of devastation washed over me. And before she could even utter the words, when it's cancer, I knew. And she and my dad and I just sat and cried with disbelief. So I was 21, I was a junior in college when I was diagnosed. I went through chemotherapy, radiation, surgery. A year later, I graduated from college. Six months after that, we find 13 tumors in my liver. I go through liver surgery, I go through more chemotherapy. Three months later, we find more liver tumors. I had four recurrences in my liver in total. And then my latest recurrence was a year ago. Last fall, they found a tumor in my bladder and they were able to go in and remove it successfully. Um, and then we talked about what to do after that. Should I go back on chemotherapies that I'd done previously? Had my body reached the toxicity levels from those chemotherapies where it would be dangerous if I were to go back on them? So my oncologist referred me to the Precision Genomics Department and they um, sequenced my entire genome of my tumor and they found that, uh, amazingly enough, an aspirin um, would do a better job at keeping any recurrences away than any chemotherapy uh, that I'd already had. So my current treatment is literally an aspirin a day, and, um, and that, that was an amazing relief, as you can imagine, that I didn't have to go back on these chemos that made me sick and tired and have neuropathy and um, just really ruined quality of life. So um, I've been on an aspirin a day for about six months now, and I have had no evidence of disease. Research to me means that I can play with my dog every day. Research means that I can plan my next epic vacation with my best friends. Research means that I get to go home at Christmas and spend the holidays with my parents and my sister. Um, it means that I get to see my sorority sisters get married and have babies, and hopefully I can do that one day too. So it, it gives me life, and it gives me a chance at, um, at having a full life. Without the donations, without the research, without these miracle drugs that um, can somehow make this horrible disease go away, um, I wouldn't have any of this. I wouldn't have my life and I wouldn't have my family or my friends. Um, and that's a scary reality to face. But, um, but your generosity has made that all possible for me and for other people like me. And we are forever in debt because of that.